welcome to Approach the Bar with Dance Beat. In this series of interviews, I am going to discuss the professional standard that occurred at the Emerald Ball, which was held very recently in Dallas. And I am so honored to have the most decorated professional standard dancer ever. And definitely the most decorated one that I've ever spoken to. Please welcome Katusha Demidova. She was 10 times world professional standard champion and wait for this one, 20 times United States professional standard champion. Now, she did win her first professional title when she was seven. So that sort of explains everything. So Katusha, how are you? Uh, I am great, and Chris, thank you so much for such a grand introduction. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could have gone on for like another half hour, but uh, with everything that you've done, but obviously we're just coming out of COVID. What have you been up to while all of this is going on, and what's going on in your life right now? I mean, listen, for all of us, the whole year of COVID, you know, it's it's been an interesting year, of course, but I feel that, uh, you know, everybody learned a lot. So, and it's great that we're all coming out and uh, competitions are starting, which is um, amazing to see. And uh, of course, we will be talking about the Emerald Ball in Dallas, which was probably the biggest competition today, right mm -hmm. now, you know, coming out of COVID, which was amazing. Um, everybody you know it's everybody's buzzing i think everybody cannot if they haven't been on the floor they cannot wait to get there uh if they have they're already looking for the new competition for the better results to get themselves better which is great uh myself personally i'm looking forward to um many events and of course i have my event coming up but that's not till november so by that time i think everybody will be dancing <laughs> so i hope you've got a really I hope you've got a huge ballroom because it's going to be packed. Yeah, yeah, hopefully, yes. Yeah, my ballroom is actually quite big, so that's good. Okay, Katusha, let us now move forward and see who actually finished sixth at the Emerald Ball, which this year was actually held in Dallas because of COVID. Obviously, everybody knows Emerald Ball is always held at the LAX Hilton in Los Angeles. So let's move on. Finishing sixth in this very competitive final, we had Gianni and Ariana. They finished six, five, six, six, and tied for fifth in the quick step. So what did you actually think about this couple, Katusha? Well, first of all, I would like to say it's actually nice to see Gianni and Ariana um, dancing back for the USA because for a while they were dancing for Italy. So they are back with us, so that's um, great. And uh, of course, looking at the final, um, it was a highly contested final and there was a, a lot of top couples who actually danced for the first time together here in Dallas which is immediately you can see that putting pressure on all the couples to do well. Now, Gianni and Rihanna, I would describe them as a fierce competitors, which is, I would say, a great thing for them and also the downfall. So sometimes um, in many cases, they get maybe they push the energy too much, which that's where disadvantage comes in slow dances. However, that's why the faster dances, tango and quick step is the stronger point because of the great energy um, that they're showing. And that's exactly what happened in this final, exactly what happened in this evening. I personally think that they danced um, a better final than the semi-final. So mm -hmm. they actually got progressively better as the competition went on. Hmm. Um, I really don't know this this couple so I had <laughs> no idea where they would where they would finish but obviously you know they're from Italy and uh, their tango looked really impressive to me so uh, 
<laughs> yeah. yeah, well, Jenny and Ariana have been in America for a while, but they actually, so they danced for America and then they danced for Italy, then, and now they're back dancing for America. So, um, but like I said, it's it's nice to see them back. So that that's great. And uh, well, we can't really say that every Italian doing a good tango, but in this case, this is, you know, this is definitely the strongest dance. Okay. Well, that was great, Katusha. We are now going to move on and see who finished fifth. Guys, I am going to be back with Katusha with more analysis from the Pro Standard, which happened at the recent Emerald Ball that was held in Dallas.